David! Scared the piss out of me. Well, here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Grad School herself, Sarah Larson. Now, the viewers are dying to know, Sarah. What exactly are you going to do with all that useless knowledge? You're an asshole. Are you recording this? No. <laughs> Such a terrible liar. Wait, you can't just leave me here. Hey! Get me the fuck out of here! What are you doing? It's so creepy. Do you think this is why you can't sleep at night? <sighs> oh. What time is it? It's almost two. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. Should we get something to eat? I'm down like my pants. Now, how exactly do you think you're going to pass through your grad school if you keep sleeping through all of your classes, champ? No, I would even my mom now. Mm, I'd say more like your dad, considering, you know, my man parts. No? I'll drive. Okay. You coming? Yeah. See, you stopped screaming, finally. Thirsty? Hey, I don't have to give you shit, all right? So if you're thirsty, drink it. Look, you heard the seal break. I couldn't put anything in there, so take it or leave it. No, thank you. Oh, come on. You didn't have a problem screaming your lungs out earlier. 
So how bad's a little gratitude? us a name and a number, they pay your get-out-of-jail-free card, and you go back to your fish and chips. Are you joking? That's what this is about? Money? What the fuck did you think this is about? I don't have any money! All right, look, we're gonna give you a minute. She doesn't need a minute. Give us a fucking name. Why psychology? What do you mean? I mean, what are you actually gonna do with it? Everyone has a story, yeah? Trauma, abuse, neglect. The idea that I can help even one person cope with whatever shit they've gone through. It sounds cheesy, but I just want to help. Hey, you're right. That sounds super cheesy. <laughs> what? Hey, come on, Sarah, you know the world's a messed up place. It's ugly, corrupt. Just gotta look outside, see what's going on. So, so hiding behind a bloody camera recording this shit's supposed to make it better? So why should you care, right? because you clearly have no problems of your own, so you sit back and record everyone else's and chalk that up to a lost cause, right? Sarah. Sarah Larson. 
I moved to the States five years ago after my mum died. I don't have anything. I have no money, no inheritance. I work, I work two jobs to pay my way through school. Why are you telling me this? Because nothing's happened. But nothing has to happen, yeah? Fuck, I don't even know what you bloody look like. If you just let me go, this can all just be a mistake that never happened. I won't go to the cops, and even if I did, what do I have on you? What'd you find out? Got it under control. <laughs> so you got a name. Jesus bloody Christ, I've already told you there is no bloody name. Stop flying! We talked about this. I told you I got it under control, just... Yeah, we were hitting it off just fine before you came back in. Oh, honey. You think you're real funny, don't you? Hilarious. Jesus, look at you both. Just a couple of fucking cowards. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. I said it's enough! Wake up. Come on. Don't touch me. <sighs> I'm uh, sorry about your mom. No, you're not. And what about your dad? Now you're really desperate if you're trying to bring that fucker into this. Okay. You the one that gave you that scar? Ooh. I struck a nerve, didn't I? You can piss off. I think just because I'm tied up here means you have the control. You know, I've got to hand it to you, though. <laughs> it was a good plan. You to stake out a nice private university, snatch up a rich, frail college girl, demand a pretty ransom from her detached yet affluent parents, and then make out like a modern Bonnie and Clyde. Then you saw a bird from the UK. Think what could be better? Parents have got to have some money if they can afford to send her across the pond for a proper education, yeah? But that's where you fucked up, isn't it? Instead, you bagged yourself a brook, stranded Brit, whose mum died when she was 17 and whose only affection she ever got from her dad was a backhand to the face or the backside of his belt. So believe me when I tell you, there is nothing you can do to me that hasn't already been done. So, after all your efforts, what have you got? Nothing, do you? Nothing but your limp cock in your hand.
They just make us tied up here means you have the control. You bagged yourself a brook, stranded Brit. I don't even know what you bloody look like. There is nothing you can do to me that hasn't already been done. If you just let me go, this can all just be a mistake that never happened. Where am I? Wait, wait, you can't just leave me here. Who are you? My name is Sarah. Sarah Larson. After all your efforts, what have you got? How are you sleeping? Well, what do you think? Considering the incident and your pre-existing insomnia, I'd say that's not unusual. Are you at least sleeping more? I guess. Still waking up, but not as much. Well, this might sound like an off-the-wall question, but I want you to answer me. How are you feeling overall? Come on, Sarah. <laughs> Lighten up. The world's a messed up place. It's ugly and corrupt. For the first time in a long time, I feel like I'm regaining control. It's comforting. You've been making great strides over the past couple of months. You're open. You're more receptive. I think we can cut our visits back to once a week. Really? Now that's only if you're comfortable with that, Sarah. Sure. Absolutely. So I'll see you next week, yeah? Yeah. We'll see you next week. today.